Yeah, hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React.js course. In the previous video, what we have seen, we have seen if we click on a post, if we click on a one post details, we are able to get the single post details. And that too we have did using the class components. Now what we'll try to do is, as we have already learned about the functional components and how to use the hooks also we have seen, right? The state and the use effect also. We will try to replicate the same scenario using the functional components. So by using the use state and the use effect, how we can write the code. So for example, see here we have already the single post details. So this is the code we have written. So that means in the component did mount and also the component did update, we have used this uh, data, we have used these lifecycle hooks and we have got the details. So now using the functional components, that means by using this use effect, how we can do the data, well, let's try to see. So here I have created a folder that is nothing but functional single post details. In this one, I am creating a component such that functional single post details dot js okay so i am creating in a separate component so by making functional so here i will be writing export function functional single post details right so this is as this one is a functional component so this is a function and here we need to return the html so here the same scenario i will write something like id I will be getting, I will be getting the title and also I will be writing a description. Okay. So now here, here I need to call the Axios call, Axios to get the details. So let's try to copy this get post details. Okay. So let get try to, so I will try to implement it here. So as this is a functional component, what I can do, I can write the function get post details. I can remove this one. Okay, I can remove this one. So we can write function within function as this one is a JavaScript. So in JavaScript it is supported. So here Axios, let's try to import this Axios. So I have imported the Axios and I am able to have written the get post details. Now what I need to do here, so the here we first what we need to do is here we need to remove this this here. So here props.id as we will be having here props.id. And another one what we need to do here what we can this dot set state is also will not work. So now here what I can do I need to create a post variable. So here I how can I create constant post comma set post is equal to use state. First we need to do the use state. So default I will keep it as a null. And here instead of writing here I can remove this one and I can write set post of response dot data so as we need to get the response dot data with id right so what i can do response dot data comma and another one will be the id props dot id perfect so we have did this one so now i need to call this get post details when i need to call so in the on mounted and also in the did component update so i can write this use effect in such a way that so let's import this use effect and here it will take a method and here I can call something like get post details. So that's it. So now this use effect defaultly it will call on every component mounted and also the component update. So that means fires on component mounted, sorry, mounted and component update. Right. So now this is the logic. So now files and component mounted and component update. Now what I need to do here? So now we have created this one. So now we got the post details. Let's try to write a uh, let's try to write a condition here. So as we already know, we need to write the condition. So here I, I can write directly something like if post is there, okay. If post is there, then return this all data, okay. Why? Because so we will be getting through the Ajax call, right? So that is the reason. Or otherwise, return just null. So like, like this also we can write. So now what I need to do here, I can write something like post dot id, and here it will be post dot title, and here post dot description. Okay. So this is the code, and here in the single post details, what I can do? This is the class name and here I can write like this, okay, and by to border, border, gray, shadow. So now we have successfully 
return the functional component and here you let let me go into the post.js so here in the post.js where is this post.js this is the post.js here i can remove this one and i can write here functional single post details okay i am calling functional single post details instead of single post details okay now here i will refresh the code so let's go and let's refresh the code and here let's try to see the output if i click here see here it is going undefined 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 okay fine so why it is getting undefined so as we already know here we are not passing the data so id is equal to this dot state dot selected posted i think yeah this is the thing we need to pass and if i try to refresh this page now let's see the xhr if i click here see it is going on infinite loop okay so now if i click here it is calling the id but is going on the infinite loop so why it is going on infinite loop is so in the same scenario i told you right so here in the functional component the use effect will call whenever the component is mounted and also the component update component update means nothing but the post is getting updated so that is the reason it is getting updated so here we will write a condition the something like if post ampersand ampersand post dot id is equal to is equal to props dot id if it is there means just return nothing or otherwise call this one so now let's try to see the output okay so here what we can do is so here i can call like this so here i am able to get the data and here if i try i am able to get the data see so now with using this single use effect okay this acts as a both uh, fires on both component mounted and component update but in the class what we have written we have written the two life cycle use we have made use of the two life cycle loops component did mount and component did, did update and we have used these things so here within one use effect we have written the logic okay so this is how we will be using the functional components instead of the class components okay by using the use effect and the use state so use state we will be using for day, for storing the data and use effect we will be using for component fires on component mounted in the component update hope you understood this one so how to write the functional components how to get how to call the axios and how to call the how to trigger the life cycle hooks also using the functional components i hope you understand so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.